Hello everybody, Mitch and Mr. Hockey here, and today we're going to talk about the St. Louis Blues going to arbitration with defenseman Joel Edmondson and settling on a one-year $3.1 million contract. Before we get into the video, I just want to say I apologize for my voice if it sounds a little weird. I'm dealing with a bit of a cold. Anyway, so now that that's out of the way, they went to an arbitrator and they agreed on a one-year $3.1 million contract. Sportsnet, Sportsnet's Elliot Friedman reported on Twitter that the Blues wanted to sign him for $2.3 million and Joel Edmonton wanted $4.2 million and they never came to an agreement. He was a restricted free agent. The, the 2019 minimum walkout is $4,397,832, so he'll get at least that, but it's not going to count against the cap. He signed for $3.1 million. I don't quite understand all of this thing, the minimum walkout, because that's more for a business, and I'm not a lawyer. I'm a kid, but I saw it more on I saw it on Twitter as I was scrolling down through an article. But the stuff is still what I think. I get the ideas from the article and then I change it around to, way, to the way I think it would work best. So, a quote from uh, GM um, Doug Ar Armstrong says, we're glad to have Joel Edmondson under contract for next season. He's an important part of our defensive unit, and we are looking forward to another successful year. And that's, that's what he had to say when he signed him, so that's good. The Blues have $2.7 million left in cash space. They still need to sign fourth line center even Barbashev, um, who's a restricted free agent and doesn't have arbitration rights. Um, he should cost... He should cost... Um, between one point, Jeremy Rutherford said that he should cost one point three, between one point three million a year and one point five million a year. Then the Blues would be left with about a little over one million dollars in cap space. For the Blues, if everyone stays healthy, and then in, and in the playoffs, the big guys Tarasenko, um, Schwartz, Steen. Peron, if they if those guys if they can stay healthy and they go, those guys show up in the playoffs, like for example, um, Jaden Schwartz's two hat tricks in the first round, then they're gonna have then they're gonna be really good. Uh, and Patrick Maroon, and they, they so they basically got the the exact same team um, that won the Stanley Cup just a couple of months ago, but. The, the raise, it, it does raise a question in my mind, even Barbashev, is he going to ask for more money because of what Joel Edmonton got? Is he going to negotiate further? Because the, the Blues are paying Joel Edmonton $800,000 more than they want to. So if he knew that, then he could maybe bargain for more money. And eight hundred thousand dollars can make a a difference, a big one. Anyway, so that about the cap. Now it's time to look at the stats. Um, Joel Edmondson, he played sixty four this season. He played sixty four games with two goals, nine assists for eleven points, a plus eight. Um, he had a hundred and two shots. His average ice time was nineteen twenty three, which means. Um, I'll, I'll get to the lines in a minute, but that means he can play. Um, he can play big minutes if the if he if needed, um, and the and fifty point four and fifty point four percent of the time his Corsi for his team had the puck. Because the Blues won the Stanley Cup, I decided to add in in the in the stat in the stat part. Um, his stats from the Stanley Cup final, and now when he had in the playoffs, and the, this was these are the stats from the playoffs. In the playoffs, he had a goal and two assists for three points. He averaged 
he averaged um, 14 minutes and 56 seconds of ice time. Um, and he was and he was a big defensive player and helped shut down the Bruins especially. To me, he's just one of those quiet guys that go unnoticed but are so valuable. Like there, there's there's some guys that you don't know that go unnoticed but are really valuable, such as. I don't know, Rasmus Dahlin of the Buffalo Sabres. Um, he's a defenseman. He was the number one overall pick um, a couple, two years ago. And he, he does good stuff. He puts up good numbers, but you just, they just don't talk about him that much. I'm sure there's a lot of players that I probably could have thought of, but I just made this one up on the, on the spot. So Carl Gunnarsson, 26 years old, will be 27 when his contract expires. He'll be an unrestricted free agent. Um, so he, in his career, he's played in 269 games, 13 goals, 39 assists for 52 points, a plus 18, plus minus. So he's clearly not on the ice that often when the other team scores. 248 penalty minutes. That could be a bit of an issue because... If you look at his 2018-19, um, he had a lot of penalty minutes. Did I not say that? He had 68 penalty minutes in the right in the seat last season, and so that that's more than one a game. So that will have to come down, and then he can really be a really valuable lockdown defenseman. Anyway, and then penalty minutes 248. 397 shots. Here's how I think the Blues are going to line up. Uh, it's going to be Kirk Gunnarsson with Alex Petrangelo, Jay Bone, Bone Booster with Colton Pareko, and Vince Dunn with Robert Bertuzzo. Um, uh, I think um, Edmondson is, is going to just kind of slide in there. I think he's going to play... Um, I think he's going to play with Robert Bertuzzo. Not with Robert, for Rob. He's going to play for Robert Bertuzzo um, again with um, with Vince Dunn. Because I feel Vince Dunn is a more offensive forward. Um, and, um, and, um, and since Joel Edmonton is a more defensive player, He'll play with him, so it can kind of work. He, they can cover for each other's mistakes. So I think this is a this is a good signing for them. They've got basically the same team. They've got enough money to sign the last guy they need to get round up to, to have an identical starting lineup. Um, and. And I think this team, as long as they, they still stay healthy, some guys step up in the playoffs, they could win again the Cup. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you think. Um, also comment down below how you think the Blues are going to do this year. Is it going to be the same team doing the same thing, winning the same trophy? Same two trophies you get one for winning the Western Conference, but or is it gonna be, um, or is it gonna be they had their year that was their lucky year and now it's not gonna continue? Well, let me know. Um, tell you if you like this video, tell your friends and uh, and to watch the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.